hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome I have almost twenty one hundred dollars going out on eBay today crazy thing is we have nothing going out on Poshmark Mercari or Facebook but it happens those platforms have their up and downs just like eBay does. So these sales range from $5 up to $270 all over the span since Friday afternoon. Over a $50 sales average and one of the best weekends we've had all year. So let's take a look. so these are in no particular order they're actually backwards so you're seeing the newest order first up to the oldest one last first up and I tell you guys all the time to pick these up this is a vintage needlepoint pillow absolutely beautiful there's the back and the back is some stains people don't care this one sold today for full price for $26.99 plus the buyer paid 12 in shipping I paid a dollar for this so this is over a $22 profit after fees. And now a lot of you have asked how I figured the profit. I do not calculate the shipping in, but some people have asked me to include that. Just in case you do a free shipping model, you would wanna know how much people are willing to pay total. Next is one of the higher items going out this week. This is a Yadro figurine. Now this one is called Heavenly Stars Angel. You can see she's got the stars there. She's got the star in her hand. She is absolutely perfect with her flowers. And I actually am going to use Instapack from American Bubble Boy to ship her because I only paid $40 for her. She's close to a $200 profit. And the Instapack is a foam that like expands and it'll conform around her and it'll keep her safe. It's a little bit more expensive than bubble wrap. But if I have a $200 profit item, I'm okay spending an extra 10 bucks on packing to make sure she gets there safely. Now, if you were looking for her in the wild, there is how she is marked. It says Yadro on the bottom. And then Google Lens picks up these Yadro figurines really easy. This one does not say the name on the bottom of it. I did use Google Lens to find out the correct Yadro name. So I had her about four months. That is the end of my Yadro that I have in stock now. But, and some of my members already know this, I spent $3,200 on an auction buy that I will be going to pick up on Wednesday. And that includes two Yadro pieces worth over 3,000, as well as another one worth about 200. Plus a lot of other stuff, obviously. Some really nice signed glass, some Longa burger baskets, and some really nice jewelry. So I'm excited to go pick that up. Up next is this little bitty owl pendant. This owl pendant I paid less than a dollar for in a jewelry lot. And this one sold for $13.25. Plus the buyer paid $5.25 in shipping. So this is going to be about a $10 profit. Next, and this is really, really nice. You can see it's beautiful hand painted. And I haven't had it a while. I've had it, I think, close to six or seven months. And this one I paid $5 for at the thrift store. It sold for $58.79. Plus the buyer paid $34 in shipping. It is going international. It is not marked. It is not signed. I put Mexican folk art, hand painted, red clay. You can see the red clay in there. And this is going to be about a $45 profit after fees. Up next is this vintage 1971 North Dakota, South Dakota mobile or actually standard oil map. I paid less than a dollar. This one sold for six thirty one, so it's going to be about a like about a five to six dollar profit. Up next are these Wedgwood Jasperware. These are a pair of little vases. I paid about a dollar fifty each, so I'm about three dollars into these. They sold for twenty three ninety nine, and they will be about an eighteen dollar profit. Keep your eye out if I can find Wedgwood Jasperware for about a dollar, and they are all marked. I'll show you here on the bottom. 
So they all say Wedgwood Jasperware on the bottom, stamped in. They were made in England. If I can find them for a dollar or two, I typically pick them up. They sell anywhere from 10 upwards of $20 each. Next, this is a Vintage 99 Trend Masters Wove Love, Wove Love. So this I had for a while. I paid 99 cents, but it apparently is supposed to have like babies in its pouch here which I don't think it does. Maybe it does. It looks like there might be something in there. I, I don't know. I said it doesn't, so if it does, they'll be happy. But this sold for $12 plus the buyer paid eight in shipping. This is going to be about a $10 profit. Up next, this is a death pile item. I am going to try and tell you if this is stuff that came out of my death pile that's been sitting in the back of the shed for months, some of it over a year. And this is one. So if you haven't checked it out and you have a death pile like I do, I know a lot of people don't like to call it that, but I do like to call it that. And we have a group over on Facebook. We are almost at 3000 members. The name of it is Death Pile Destruction. Definitely go over to Facebook, check it out. It's a really great support group and a lot of amazing people in it. So out of the death pile, this is a Nike Florida Gators polo. It is Nike dry fit. I paid $4 for this and this one sold for $17.99 plus the buyer paid $5.90 in shipping. So this is going to be about a $12 profit. If you hear banging, my friend Tommy who works for us is moving all of the priority boxes into the shed. He is, I think, piling them on the front porch right now. We got a big shipment in so he's going to bring them and put them in the loft in here. So up next, this is a vintage Cozumel. It does say Cozumel, Mexico there. And this is a Tanala little cup. I paid 50 cents for this one at the thrift store and it sold for $8.99. Plus the buyer paid six in shipping. So this one is going to be about a $7 profit. Up next is this vintage pine cone, Mexico sterling pen. This is marked it is really, really hard to see the sterling mark on it, though. Don't think you'll be able to see it. It's very, very lightly inscribed. This one I paid about $2 for. It sold for $16.50, plus the buyer paid $5.50 in shipping. So this one is going to be about a $13 profit. Next, this is a vintage Laurel and Hardy 8mm tape. I got this in an online auction lot. I am pennies in. It sold for $16.79. Plus the buyer paid $5.95 in shipping. So this is going to be about a $14 profit. Next, another item that I feel like you would pass up and I feel like you can find really cheap. This is just a vintage crochet for like hanging off of a stove rail green towel. That's all it is. That's all it is. And I paid less than 50 cents. This one sold for $6.99. Plus the buyer paid $5.25 in shipping. So this one will be about a six dollar profit. Up next is this vintage belt. This is L.L. Bean. So I thought this was Native American. After I researched it is L.L. Bean. I was able to find that by the stock number here and I thought I would get more. I paid five for it at a flea market up in Pennsylvania and it ended up selling for $15 plus the buyer paid shipping. So it's about an eight dollar profit but Keep in mind, guys, watch for the Native American beaded work. Keep an eye out for the beaded work because this stuff can sell really high. Necklaces go for about $20 to $25. I found them a lot at garage sales for a dollar. People get them when they go places as souvenirs. And some of the moccasins sell upwards of $1,000. So keep your eye out for beaded stuff. Up next is another death pile item. This is a Cincinnati Reds 100th anniversary from 1969. I'm less than a dollar into this. I got this in an online auction lot of Cincinnati Red memorabilia. I love sports lots when it comes to buying on auctions because the stuff sells. People have their favorite teams. They are always looking for stuff to collect. This one sold for $34.55, making it over a $30 profit. Next are some crabs. So the first crab going out is this pink Coro crab. This one is signed Coro on the back. It is hand etched. It's not stamped. 
This one sold for $70 plus the buyer paid $13 in shipping. I am less than $2 into this. So this is over a $60 profit on a little tiny crab. So keep your eye out, especially for unique stuff. With Koro, it ranges from $5 upwards of over $500, depending on how rare the piece is. With brooches, I tend to look for more blingy, different stuff that stands out, and that's how I decide what I am going to bid on. And then there's another crab. This one is not branded though. This one is brass and the little green stone there. And this one sold for $15 plus the buyer paid six in shipping. Same thing, about $2 into this one and it is going to be about a $10 profit. And then if you saw my flea market video from last week, I picked up this Ansley teacup at my little local flea market. I did pay $20 for it. It sold in under a week for $80 nine dollars and 99 cents does say ansley on the bottom it does or it's not ansley i called it ansley last week it is royal albert it is royal albert lady ascot is the pattern it says it right on the back so if you see teacups like this plate looks nice you know it looks nice that's something you would look for and it's got the print on the inside so this is going to be about a 60 dollar profit next these are some japan salt and pepper shakers they are marked japan there on the bottom and i paid less than a dollar for these and these sold for ten dollars plus the buyer paid 680 in shipping so these are going to be about a eight dollar cat here sorry to interrupt this video if you have not already please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Share with your friends. Hit that subscribe button and you can click the bell. Turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when I make more content like this. I greatly appreciate you watching. Sorry for interrupting. Let's get back to the video. And then some more of my Kim Gravel jeans. These are from a QVC palette. They have been here over two years. These sold for $5.96 plus the buyer paid nine in shipping. They will go in a padded flat rate envelope and we paid about two or three dollars for those we have been in the profit on that qvc palette a long time so i figure that's about a five dollar profit next is this little donkey so this little donkey i paid less than a dollar for he does have on the bottom italy and i believe he is fontanini he's about four inches and he sold for ten dollars plus the buyer paid five in shipping so he's going to be about an eight dollar profit keep your eye out for nativity scenes some of the figures are worth a lot of money look and see what it says on the bottom look it up and research it this is a dvd this is the lady killers i am less than a dollar in this one sold for 4.79 it will be about a three dollar profit so you're seeing ranges from under five dollars up to over 250 and that's just my business model i sell what i can find and sometimes i can find those higher dollar items but not always so i'm okay with these little sales because they add up next this ring is a carolyn pollock ring and this i showed in my haul i picked this up at renninger's at the antique show i did pay 20 dollars for this it sold in less than a week and it sold for 77 dollars and 99 cents so this is going to be about a 45 dollar profit now had it been a better size i probably could have got more money for it but it is a size six it's a little bitty ring I lied there are sales under five dollars this one sold for three it's just a little plastic vintage ornament and i am pennies in so it's about a 250 profit but that is going to be really easy to ship and then up next this is a corningware sidekick really plain i could have listed them together but i only had three so i did list them individual as replacements this one sold for 473 i'm about 30 cents in so this one's going to be about a four dollar profit and then there are two of these so this is a lantern i paid ten dollars for two of them you can see the deer there in it and these are marked here you can see that's how i kind of knew how to list it it um is a reproduction of a 17th century barn lamp so it is a pair of two i 
paid $10, they sold for $107.08, making them about an $85 profit. When stuff is unique like that and catches my eye, again, I was able to look up similar items, see that they sold high, and I was okay paying $5 each. And then I decided to list them as a pair just to get a higher dollar sale. Then some little butterfly patches. These little guys sold the four of them for $4 and 54 cents. So it will be about $3 to ship them. So we'll make a whole dollar profit, but that's okay. I've had them over two years. I'm glad to see them go. Next is this eye rewind. This is some makeup. This one was unbranded. It does. It just said it's iRewind.com. I paid a dollar for this. I got a lot of ones that look similar to this. Some of them sold for $50 a bottle. So check the health and beauty stuff. This one only sold for $11.99 plus the buyer paid six and shipping. So this one's going to be close to a $10 profit. Next, this is a thermometer and I just paid a couple dollars. Again, this was in an auction lot and this one sold for $23.99 and it's about a $20 profit. It's not anything fancy. It's actually like a cheaper made one, but it's really cute to hang outside. It has the temperature and maybe it's going to be somebody's Christmas present. So if you can keyword those right, like this one, just as an example, I put hummingbird, I put butterfly, I put snail, I put dragonfly. I put as many words as I could. That way the people that collect stuff from that animal could find it in a search and it sold in about three months. Next, these were bought by a viewer. These were bought by Melinda. They are some vintage postcards. They are from Arizona of Native Americans. And these four sold for $3.96. Shipping will be about three. This is gonna be about a break even. I tried doing vintage postcards for a while. It did not work out for me. I know a lot of people that watch me make a ton of money on them. I just didn't really get the hang of that. So I have stopped collecting and trying to resell vintage postcards. I might revisit it at a different date, but for right now, what I have listed is all that I'm gonna do for now. And then some more little patches. These are little bluebirds. These sold for $5. These will be about a dollar profit. Then there's this beautiful Stour egg. It's blue, it's got hearts. I bought 10 of these. I'm down to two left. I paid $10. This one sold for $24.11 plus the buyer paid shipping. So we're gonna make about a $10 profit. I will tell you the other ones, most of them sold for $39.99. I've just had them so long, I've lowered the price. So I would rather make $10, get my initial investment back, than let them sit there and not sell. This is another item that has been here for two years. It's a Vera Bradley purse. Most of them sell pretty decent for me. I don't know why this one didn't. I paid 50 cents. It sold for $5.75, so it's gonna be about a $4 profit. Next are some forks, and I think Dalton lost one. So here's the pattern on these. And these, I'm less than a dollar in, and they sold for $11.99. So it was a set of four. So what I did is I messaged the buyer and said, hey, I think my three-year-old might have misplaced one of the forks. I can only find three. Would you like me to refund your money, pick something else from my store, or would you like me to send the three and I will refund half of your money back? She chose for me to send the three, said she absolutely understands, and it was solved pretty easily so don't freak out if you can't find stuff or part of something's missing message them offer them options like i said i offered her a refund to replace with something else or to receive a partial refund and i'd ship what i had and she is still going to be happy up next this is a florida gator stocking and this one i paid a dollar it sold for 11.99 plus the buyer paid 5.85 in shipping it's going to be about a $10 profit. I pick up stockings year round. I know it's Christmas right now. It's probably why it sold, but they will sell year round. And if you can get them for 50 cent or a dollar and they're unique, I would pick them up. Some more patches. It was a patch weekend. Not sure why. These are just some unicorn patches. These sold for $4. Again, less than a dollar profit. Now these are some dance glasses. One of these boxes has six. The other one only has two. So I listed them as a set of eight and I paid a dollar a box. So I'm $2 in and those sold for $25.19 plus the buyer is paying 15 in shipping. So those are going to be about a $20 profit. And then the other Swarovski turtle. 
So this is one just like I sold last week. I only listed one and then when that one sold I relisted. This one sold for $270 plus the buyer paid $66 in shipping. This one I paid $120 so it is going to be about $120 profit. I'm definitely trying to pay up more and that way I can make bigger profits. So a lot of the stuff from this $3,200 auction buy I'm going to get Wednesday is going to be higher dollar stuff. As you see, we have a $50 average sales price. Even though there's a lot of those $5 sales, still averages out to $50 per sale. I got this Christmas tree at the flea market last week. I paid 20, I actually paid 20. She was asking 25, I made a deal on two of them. It sold in less than a week for $120 plus the buyer paid 20 in shipping. So this one is going to be about an $80 profit. I probably again am gonna use the Insta packs from Joel at American Bubble Boy because this is really fragile. So I'm gonna put the Insta pack around it and feel confident and we'll get there safely. Last, some deer antlers. I can't make them like go from my head. Anyways. I bought these on a taxidermy piece so it was an actual deer head but it was in very poor condition the hair was falling out it was driving me nuts in the shed i'm like you know what let's take let's take the antlers off so my husband took these antlers off for me and they sold for a hundred dollars plus the buyer paid 10 in shipping they're not heavy and i paid i think i think i paid i think i paid 40. For that piece so that's going to be over a $50 profit and it's parting it out I, I tossed the rest of it because it was in such poor disrepair and I'm still making a profit so that is everything $2,100 in sales over a thousand dollars in profit I appreciate you guys watching do not forget tomorrow night 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be live with my co-host Julian Bearded Thrift Machine, as well as my good friend Dante from Prison to Profit, and Tiffany Thrifting Vegas, who has never been on before, so I'm really excited to have her on, and I wanted to tell you guys too, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't put a video out last night, I am going to pull back and only be doing three videos a week probably will do a video on Wednesday explaining exactly why. So for now, I will have pre-recorded videos out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I will still do my live show on Tuesday. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you learned a lot. Hit that thumbs up on the way out. Leave me a comment and I will see you tomorrow night at eight live with Julian, Dante, and Tiffany. Bye guys.